Let me put my lift back on. That's 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 not weird. Hello, warm up. BQ power, dude. I'm burning so much oil. I don't know if you guys know this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Static Works. Today is a big day for Martin's G35. We're selling it. Finally, piece of shit, dude. I'm so sorry for it. I should have told you to buy it, dude. I'm buying a Skyline. So today we're gonna be installing an action clutch and flywheel kit. It's gonna be a stage three because if you guys don't know, we're gonna be going towards a drifting route. So we're gonna need the best of the best. And our sponsor, Action Clutch, recommended this kit. So shout out to Action Clutch for sponsoring this build because it is gonna be a crazy one, especially once we wrap it and get everything figured out with that because we're gonna be wrapping it very soon and we'll make a video about it, talking about it and the real the reveal is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a complete change and I don't think you guys are expecting it. We've been saying a color. Say sure you say it. They've been saying cherry red, but in reality cherry it's red. not cherry red. It's, it's not actually, cherry red. It's actually it, it really is but it's not what we've been saying, but it's pretty much. <laughs> we're gonna go to my buddy's house who has a lift, but we're not gonna be recording in there because we only have a couple hours to get everything done. I will probably record on my phone of um, just the installation and the old clutch versus the new clutch because this one's worn out and the throw out bearing, I believe, is worn out on this one too. But we'll show you right now once we get home how the action clutch kit looks with the flywheel. And we're gonna do a couple of pulls right now and pretty much describe to you how a normal clutch feels like on these cars because it is a lot stiffer. But this clutch is definitely going out for sure. And you can, the, the lift point is so high on it and compared to Gonzo Z, that one has a little bit more life left but Ashton Clutch sent us two kits so we're gonna be giving one to Gonzo so we can install it. I did my e46 clutch with my buddy who is a master tech at bmw so he knows what he's doing and i was learning from him but we're gonna do this one by ourselves there and what do you think scary starting in second not first Woo. to let you guys know that video or that question that i asked who's a better driver Gonzo's not gonna be on that list. The truth, I would say it would be between me and them. They drip like grannies, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, this is them all fast. What is that? Stick bro? with the best action clutch. I am this? gonna put the sticker on the car just because. You know what we should out do? Of respect. Come on, bro, under the wrap. Oh! Under the wrap. Where? And then lay it over where, where, on the where? side. Like we should do like, so if we have the stickers right here and then just put the wrap over it, we'll probably have a bunch, including static works on the top. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, this looks so nice. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Ooh. You gotta clean anyways. We're gonna have a bunch of a uh, brake cleaner. Hold on. This is the best part, dude. I know, it looks so fucking nice. I don't, I don't wanna use it no more. I just wanna like, set it on my table. I just wanna eat out of it. That looks so good. We're not gonna be doing a DIY, unfortunately. We would want to, but we might do it later on. Just because, like we mentioned earlier, we're not gonna be doing any recording there because we're gonna try to kill this in a couple of hours and it's gonna be our first one, so I'm a little scared. I'm sure we can do it, especially since he has all the tools there and I have Martin helping me. So it's gonna be a coil throwout bearing. Off. Yeah, try not to touch that whenever you're installing anything. Yeah, this, looks, this is a lightweight flywheel, so it's gonna be lighter than the dual mass that come with the original transmissions. We will show you the problem we're having with this car right now. It's gonna, it, it makes a little whining noise, and obviously that's no good. That shows that the throttle bearing is probably going bad or the pilot bearing. Um, so with this flywheel, it is gonna chatter, but that's just because it is a lightweight flywheel, and we obviously don't care as long as it performs really good. And we're definitely, after the 1,000 miles, we're gonna be doing pools. What I heard, the break-in period is 1,000 miles, which is gonna suck for Martin because this will be so, like, driving all crazy. <laughs> if 
you guys don't pick it up on the mic, it's a little whining noise and it doesn't sound good at all. We did notice that when we bought it, but obviously this is a project build, so who cares? So now that we gave you a drive, pretty much told you all the problems that we're experiencing with the clutch, and we showed you what clutch we're gonna be using. Shout out to our sponsors. Action Clutch. This is gonna be the part one of the video, and then we're gonna go to the second part where we're gonna be talking about how the install went, and just give you some normal drives. The second part of the video, I'll be driving it and seeing if I can get used to it because it is gonna be a lot harder. Scared? I'm not scared of the install because I know it'll get done eventually. I'm scared of the driving. Time to go to part two. What's up guys? Today, what do you think? Today's about like three weeks since the first part of this video. This was a crazy, crazy experience we'll talk about it more in the car i shaved martin's like wearing my shirt. shirt i'm wearing a small little shirt look it it's so tiny but we finally have the action clutch and flywheel installed and what do you think i have driven it he has so we'll talk about it look how ugly it is right now oh it sounds weird like that you're starting to see, you start sanding it huh yeah getting ready so he's sanding everything down. I'll probably help him when he comes next time just so we can sand everything down, primer, and get it ready for the wrap because we do want to reveal it. And it's about time Martin has a nice, nice clean car. There's a vacuum mix on. All right, so it's going to be startup noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Story time about the install. That day that we recorded the first clip. Okay, all right. You feel it scary. Yeah. We went to my master tech's house, one of my buddies, and he let us use his lift so we can install it. It was a really clean install. The only problem that we had was everything, so we just threw away the whole car. We went with just, I guess, experience, because I've only done one clutch. He hasn't done any, but we didn't even look up any DIYs beforehand. I don't care. Fucking idiot. But the hardest part, I believe, was just moving the transmission around because that was such a pain in the ass. It required three of us. And we torqued it down to spec. Everything was nice. We'll show you the old clutch and how it was. And as you can see, it does not look good. This is a little side by side of how the new clutch and the old clutch look. As you can see, the old clutch does have a lot of wear and warpage. And if you look at the flywheel side by side, you can see that has a lot of warpage as well. Long story short, we put it all back together. Everything was going smoothly. Um, it, it did take longer than we expected. We finished about one in the morning and we started around like 5.36. So it took us about like four to five hours, which for, for it being our first time working on a G, on a, on a clutch drop, I don't think it's that bad. We noticed that the, the lift point was really high and it would shake a lot and we thought we fucked up so he drove it straight home. I did my research on it and I guess the throw out bearing, some people say that it's supposed to be pressed in. We didn't know so Martin just placed it in and we thought that was a problem but we didn't have time to stop by and redo the whole thing so he took it to a transmission place which it did suck because the whole point of doing it ourselves was to learn and do it for free and he only ended up paying about 175 so like 180 and all they did was bleed the clutch which makes no sense i don't know about cars it doesn't really make sense because they said that you needed to bleed the clutch but, but we, even we never removed any lines or did any of that so i don't know i just think that's really fucking weird someone correct us if we're wrong it does kick a little bit kind of like a welded diff so he's at 350 and we need to break it into a thousand miles and then we could beat the shit out of it we're definitely going to be making a video on that does it wrap faster i can't step on it hard i can't step so, on it so hard many sets here it's my turn to be camera girl <laughs> so danny has not driven the car since we did replace the clutch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you do ease into it too much, it wants to jump. So what you have to do is kind of ease into it, but let off. Otherwise, it jumps like crazy. Let's see how Danny does it. Okay, so time. one thing I did notice, just pressing it and letting go, you press it in and then it'll slowly come back to a point and then it just snaps back. So the clutch is like pretty much this far from the ground. We're not gonna be doing any hard pulls because we're still breaking it in. Oh. That wasn't that bad though. I know, but you can see, just getting used to it. I like 
like it. It's not, not bad. bad. No, it's not that bad. Just the hardest part is probably um, the all oh, the downshifts are way better. Downshifts are way better, but something you want to keep in mind is you don't want to rev it over 4K when you're um, when you're breaking it in. So you don't want to downshift um, if you know it's gonna go that high. All right, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try not to shake as much. Let's see. God damn it. Not that bad. You just gotta let off a little sooner, but not too fast. Yeah, it's weird. I get what you're saying. What a perfect way to end the video with my E46. Kind of like say bird poop. All right, all right. You I need like to, bird poop. You need to fucking relax, okay? I like bird poop. Shout out to our sponsors, Action Clutch. Make sure to follow them on Instagram and check out their products because they really do make very good products. And they don't have a clutch for my car, but they do for the Miata. And you already know. You already know what we're gonna do with that Stakes thing. 10. Ooh, Iron Man. But we do have installs coming. So I know this is more of an in-car vlog and more talking, less doing, but we're definitely gonna bring more doing to you guys. That's not so wrong. We're gonna do you guys real good. No, we're gonna very good. good. We're gonna do you guys a good video. <laughs> we need to stop, goddammit. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys on the next one.